I want to graph a linear function that's in slope-intercept form. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept, which we're going to use as our starting point. So what's the linear equation for us to graph? y equals 2x minus 4. For those of you who like to leave chain change, we're going to re rewrite this as y equals 2x plus negative 4. Now I can determine the y-intercept and the slope directly from this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with the y-intercept since we're going to use that as our starting point. Can you find the y-intercept in this equation? It's negative 4. And I can actually go ahead and plot that right now. So the y-intercept is on the y-axis. It's where my function will cross the y-axis. And it's at negative 4. So I've just got to find it and plot it. Now we're going to figure out the slope. So I'm looking for the coefficient of my x term. This is my x term right here. And the coefficient of that x term is 2. So my slope is 2. But what is slope anyway? Now I know that slope represents the rise over the run, which makes it look like I'm looking for a fraction. But 2 is not a fraction, or is it? Well, I can rewrite this as 2 over 1. And now I can plainly see that my rise is 2 and my run is 1. Let's see what we're going to do with that. Let's go ahead and plot it. So I will go over to the to the point that I know is on the line, my starting point, and I will rise 2 and I will run 1. And then I will rise 2 and I will run 1. And I will rise 2, and I will run 1. These are the points right here, there, right there. Let's draw the line that connects these dots. I'll do my best. And we're done. It looks like if we have the y-intercept and the slope, then we have everything that we need to graph a linear function. Let's try another one. Our new function that we're going to graph is y equals negative one-half x plus three. Well, the y-intercept is easy to find for this one. Here we go. It's three. So we can actually graph that. We're going to go to the y-axis, and we're going to find 3. There you go. And we're going to plot it. Now I've got to find the slope. Ooh, here we go. Looking for the coefficient of the x term, I see that it's negative 1 half. And I see a negative and a fraction. Am I going to freak out? Absolutely not. So it looks like, since it's a fraction, I can, it, actually it's a bonus, it gives me, gives me my rise and my run. So I've got negative 1 over 2, and my rise is negative 1, and my run is 2. Let's go to our starting point, and let's use that information to plot our next point. So what does that mean for a negative rise? Oh, it just means that we go in a downward direction. We're going to go down 1, and our run is going to be 2. Plot that. I'm going to go down 1, and over 2, run 2. Down 1, and over 2. 
I think that's enough points, and I'm going to connect these points. Drawing my line, and we're done. Now you can graph a linear function from slope-intercept form.